Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog and this is our last video on skincare. Um, it's been a lovely journey and I hope this obviously um, these videos have been very helpful to you guys and obviously the reason I wanted to do these videos is because people think to have a glowing skin um, you know all year round and have beautiful skin cost money but these are things that you can actually do at home and be mindful obviously when you do them you don't have to break your bank account um, into like trying to get things to obviously maintain your skin it could be also your lifestyle routine because like I've said to you guys skincare is like a, being on a diet the minute you stop doing it then you start seeing your problems or they start creeping back again whatever that you're trying to correct on your skin um, the reason I wanted to do obviously these videos as I've said is I wanted to show you guys that you can maintain your skincare at home um, it, it shouldn't really cost you money and I hope they've really really been helpful and um, I've thought about it and I've had some obviously people DMing me um, asking me if there's going to be more videos on obviously skincare um, coming again. Obviously I've done 15 videos in a row and uh, truth be told um, I will be doing more um, videos on skincare but obviously we're going to look into different obviously um, topics so don't worry I'll be coming Coming back with more videos on skincare but in the meantime if you have any questions or there's something you want to know just obviously shoot me a DM um, on Instagram or you can obviously send me an email uh, through info at nontoli.com and I've you know also I've got some written stuff on my blog you can visit my blog and have a look there because there's going to be more content on skincare so on today's vlog which is our last one uh, we're gonna close this obviously compilation of videos with the one thing that um, a lot of people obviously especially the people of color um, as you guys all know I don't know if you've noticed that on all these videos um, I've had obviously my hair my natural hair braided all back um, it is because I as you all know I use uh, if you look on my pictures or on like other videos that I've done, I'm always like wearing wigs and I took a decision probably, I'll probably say about a year and a half ago with my hairdresser, uh, Beggy, shout out if you're watching this, and I said to obviously to him I wanted to reverse my hair to being natural, so I had really long hair so it it wasn't a hard decision to make um but i did was like oh i'm gonna miss my hair and he said well you always anyway have your hair braided and you're wearing wigs and i said yeah it shouldn't and i'm glad i took that decision of um reversing my hair we're still in a process i've got now an afro which i love it to dear the reason i've said this video is gonna um, obviously benefit a lot of people of color because a lot of us use wigs and a lot of us relax our hair so we treat our hair chemically to make the hair straight and easy to maintain because we all know how hard it is to maintain afro hair especially if you are in countries that have cold weather like the uk it literally damages your hair so a lot of people they don't realize how the hair is linked to your skin um, or skin care take for an example the shampoo that we use on our hair and obviously the weaves themselves the way we put them whether you use a weave we use um some people will use glue to put their weaves on um so that obviously they don't get loose all that stuff it can literally give you bad reaction onto your skin around obviously the um the, the edges over there which could actually extend to your face so my tip will be make sure that when you are washing your real hair if you can get shampoos like this this brand here which i've come across which is like a they they call sheer moisture 
and it's it's an old brand actually it's it says here established in 1912 i like their products because basically it says even outside the box that it's got no sulfates no parabens no paraffins uh, no mineral oil no petrolatum no synthetic basically it's not going to give you any reaction whatsoever so you they've got a shampoo and they also got the conditioner the two things we tend to use the most so just be mindful obviously and all the other hair products that we use to maintain your hair underneath your wigs your wigs and your weaves and whatever else that you use in your hair that obviously you make sure you maintain your hair using the right products because some of these products they do have chemicals which could be really as i've said bad for our skin if you can go natural even better i'm not saying now go and shave your hair or don't use the weaves i use the weaves myself but i'm talking about obviously the hair underneath if it's well maintained then you know you're not gonna have any breakout problems or anything like that so um i hope this video has been obviously been useful for you guys and you know and i i do hope that all the 15 videos they've at least contributed or they've at least you know given you an idea where to start with your skincare journey and if there's anything that i've missed and you feel that i should have covered it in these videos please don't be afraid to leave me a comment and i'll try all my best to obviously get back to you guys if it's something that i need to get back to you but if you feel like you've liked all these videos or you've liked these videos please do give us a like and you know don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video which is gonna be obviously on wednesday as usual the posting time when that changes because i am going to be doing more videos on skincare i will let you guys know but for now i'm going to go back into posting every wednesday um as usual and i hope to see you guys soon bye <music>